Gillette presenta Gillette Fusion Power Drive de la semana. Gillette presentó Gillette Fusion Power Drive de la semana. Felicidades al ganador del reto de Gillette de cada semana con el drive más largo. Y miren, como siempre, les recuerdo a ustedes que pueden pasar por cualquiera de las nueve tiendas Oakley que están en todo el país. Les recordamos que ya Oakley tiene los precios de Estados Unidos. Solamente la única diferencia es el Itevis, que obviamente como es una carga impositiva, es un gravamen, pues hay que ponerlo. Pero usted compra el mismo precio con la ventaja de que usted compra por internet y teme de que a lo mejor el zapato no le sirva o no le quede bien el t-shirt o el size no sea el suyo. Sin embargo, aquí se lo puede probar. Así que puede pasar por cualquiera de las tiendas Oakley en Santo Domingo. Recuerde que estamos en Blue Mall, en Agora Mall y en San Bill. Y después las otras tiendas, principalmente en la zona este. Pásese por cualquiera de las tiendas Oakley. Diga que vio el anuncio aquí, inmediatamente tiene un 10% de descuento. Nos vamos entonces a ver, tal como les dijimos en el primer segmento, ya se hizo la recopilación de los mejores pegadores del PGA Tour. Y es un video que a la gente le encanta ver porque aunque el driver no es el, el, quizás el palo más importante y el que más relevancia tenga en el, en el golf. Muchos dicen que el juego corto, otros dicen que el pot, pero nunca el driver. Porque cualquiera con una maderita 3 puede pegar más driver, driver más largo que cualquiera que use el driver. Ahora, si sí la gente sabe que el driver en el caso del golf es como el béisbol con el jonrón, que a la gente le encanta ver los pegadores largos. Vamos a ver entonces cuáles son los pegadores largos del PJ Tour de esta temporada 2013. Number 10. Sam Snead has got just a classic swing. Sam Snead wasn't nicknamed the slammer for nothing, as he pioneered the power game in an era known more for finesse. He parlayed his length off the tee into a Hall of Fame career and 82 PGA Tour victories, a record that still stands today. Number 9. He just absolutely smash mouth that one. J.B. Holmes finished outside the top five in driving distance just once from his rookie season in 2006 to 2010 and led the tour in that category in 2011 at over 318 yards per drive. J.B. Holmes is brute strength. I mean, the, the guy hits it miles. Holmes never averaged less than 304 yards off the tee in his first six seasons. And from 2010 through 2011, he hit over 1,000 drives of more than 300 yards, leading the PGA Tour. I cannot wait to see the number on this one. Going to be closer to 400 <laughs> than anything else. Number eight. An underrated power player, Davis Love III led the PGA Tour in driving distance in 1986 and 1994 and was second on three other occasions. Love set the record for longest drive on the PGA Tour, bombing one 476 yards in 2004 on the 18th hole at Kapalua. The golf ball doesn't know how old you are, and I'm certainly hitting it well enough to be competitive. Love finished in the top 20 in driving distance in 23 of his first 26 seasons on tour, including a 17th place finish in 2010 at almost 298 yards per drive. Number seven. Arnold Palmer's probably one of the guys most responsible for the modern game as we know it. Part of that modern game was Palmer's power. Palmer nearly knocked the cover off the ball. Which saw him exceed the tour average for driving distance into his mid-50s, Known for his somewhat unorthodox swing, Palmer drove his way to 62 career wins and seven major championships. I really did not make any swing changes in my career. I started with a pattern when I started playing the tour, and I stuck with it until today. Number six. Power certainly has been a big issue in the game the last 10 years, how far the young players are hitting the golf ball. Tiger had a big role in that play. Tiger Woods burst onto the scene, utilizing his amazing athleticism to transform the game and make 300-yard drives the rule rather than the exception. When you have an athlete who's that strong and that flexible, he can make the club move at a velocity and a speed that's just a little bit different. Tiger's tee shot, that looked so solid. Tiger finished in the top three in driving distance six times from 1997 through 05, winning 10 majors in that span. 
I remember when he won his first Masters, you know, he came out and just pretty much demolished the whole field and was hitting it 40 yards further than everyone else. And that was kind of the beginning of the, the new era of golf, really. Number five. Greg Norman was a fixture in the top 10 of the driving distance ranking, achieving that distinction nine times between 1984 and 1994. I used to love just watching him hit drivers. He used to hit them off the deck, off a tee, whatever. He could do whatever he wanted to do. He could draw it, he could fade it, he could hit it high and low and very straight. Not just powerful, Norman was also accurate, finishing first in total driving three times in his career. Long and straight, maybe the greatest driver of the ball that's ever played the game of golf. Number four, dubbed Boom Boom for his prodigious power. That is a long one. Fred Couples has finished in the top 10 in driving distance 15 times since 1981, becoming a fan favorite along the way. Fred Couples was the coolest kid in town. That was the guy you wanted to be like and uh, play like. As we like to say, he's kind of a golfing genius. You know, he just, I don't think he knows what he's doing out there sometimes, but he just knows how to put the club on the ball every time and hit it very solidly. Number three. Bubba Watson led the tour in driving distance in his first three seasons and finished second in each of the following three. His career best average came during his 2006 rookie campaign at 319 yards per drive. He can hit it 300 yards at any time. People recognize him for how long he's hitting the golf ball, and yes, he does hit it long, but he's just so skilled for shaping the golf ball left to right, right to left. I think he's a very skillful player. Number two. Grip it and rip it has long been John Daly's motto. Oh my, that is so These guys are good. The preeminent modern long ball hitter, Daly led the tour in driving distance 11 times and became the first player to average 300 yards off the tee in 1997. When you think of a long hitting player, one of the first that comes to mind is John Daly, and he had that you know, way past parallel swing, and that's how he generated his power. Daly doesn't just hit fairways, he swallows them up. Number one. Jack Nicklaus ranked in the top 10 in driving distance as recently as 1980 at the age of 40, but he was far more than just a bomber. Jack is probably the longest and straightest hitter on the tour today. He won 73 times on the PGA Tour, highlighted by a record 18 majors. It was this combination of unparalleled success and length off the tee that forever transformed the game of golf. Ya quisiera yo, aunque sea con una bazooka, pegarle como le pegan estos tipos. Una cosa impresionante, señores. Y lo, y lo importante es que ellos mantienen la bola en el medio. Ahora, para que ustedes vean que no nos podemos confundir, miren las estadísticas. Entren a la página del PGAtour.com, busquen estadísticas y verán una cosa que llama mucho a curiosidad. Los pegadores más largos no son los líderes de scoring. Así que olvídense de drive largo, que como dicen en el Cibao, no hay drive largo. Esa es la realidad. Cuando usted tiene buenos hierros, tiene buenos approach y tiene buen, buen pot, la cosa funciona mucho más a su favor que pegarla muy, pero muy lejos. Saludo para el Guille que vive diciendo que pega 350 yala con una juqueta que ni él mismo se la cree. Pero bueno, el Guille vive feliz con eso. Miren, eh, nos vamos a la pausa y cuando regresemos venimos con la parte final ya con las opiniones del torneo y más del contenido y naturalmente con la gran premiación de este gran evento de que es el primer invitacional de golf BM Cargo desde The Lakes. Regresamos.